So one of the names of the sages are called the sun eaters. And I really love this, especially in the light of being an herbalist and a tantric alchemist or a tantra yoga practitioner, where when you start to understand what the power of light is and the sun and that there is this symbology in the twilight language of the sages where the sun represents all things prana, and so prana is inspiration, it is growth, it is expansion, it's newness, it's also shining a flashlight on everything, shining a flashlight on all the shadows and the deeper realms of the subconscious mind. And so I wanted to offer you right now, it's a beautiful time, this springtime juncture, where we can tap into the power of the sun and start to recognize and feel how when we embrace this celestial and all of the symbology that it represents, how it can be a powerful force for healing and a catalyst for change. And one of my favorite ways is to weave in plants and yoga. And for me, it's not just doing powerful yoga practices, but really understanding energy and breath and how they're connected and how when we follow the breath, the mind also follows, and we can bring our minds into more stability and more one-pointed focus. The term vidya means science or to know, and in Tantra, it's also a goddess. It's the power of clear seeing and one-pointed focus. So when I work with plants and yoga, I even work with flowers specifically as means to shine that flashlight on a subconscious to build more one-pointed focus and to heal all of that subconscious terrain of mind stuff that limit the mind's ability to grow and to heal. And so in the springtime, we can feel it as, uh, and this, I'm bringing in another one of my favorites, a pilgrimage of the flowers where when we start to notice what's growing in nature, there are patterns, right? Patterns in nature that are synonymous with the seasonal shifts, but also for need of community, for example. Like you'll see dandelion growing in yards of places where there is toxic soil or the people that live in that area might need a little tending to their livers and to detoxify, right? So we can look at this springtime movement of sun, following the sun, this pilgrimage of flowers, watching where things are blooming. And this is pranic. This is studying prana and that power of intelligence in nature to know and to discern the stuff that's healthy and helpful for growth in our minds and then that which is not. And so some of the flowers that are in bloom right now or some that are attracting my attention are, I just brought a bunch of heather home to plant in my garden. It's the first time I've ever done this, but it's, uh, it's very big in my ancestral lands. And what I love about the medicine of this plant is that it helps a person not be so self-centered and instead be more inclusive, have more empathy for others. So we can look at this as just your basic kind of common everyday narcissism right, that little bit of self-obsession, to full-blown, I am the world, the world revolves around me. And that's a wound that I'd like to heal in basically my white and traumatized ancestors. There's also Bleeding Heart is another one that I've just brought home and I'm super excited to have found it, to cultivate it. <clears throat> Excuse me, when we were in California, this was growing in the wild. And this is a nerve iron. You can work with it as a tincture for uh, relaxing the nerves and helping with insomnia. But on a flower essence level and that force, that power of inspiration and healing that the sun brings, it tends to grief and that deep grief stored in the heart due to any kind of loss. So loss of a loved one, loss of a stage in life, and even loss of, say, a connectedness, where I've worked with it really with, for hundreds of people, and a lot of them have been the baby-mother connection at the time of weaning. 
So these are just a few, and I just invite you to look outside, get outside, start to step into nature, see what's growing, what's greening, what's blooming. Feel into this symbology of the sun and feel into that presence as a, a powerful flashlight for illuminating truth inside of you and weeding out those old stories that can help you become the best version of you at this time. So I'm going to be offering a good amount of programs and even my yoga classes dedicated to this flower pilgrimage, the, the pilgrimage of flowers and weaving yoga and the plants together. And I hope that you can join me for some things. And if not, just on your own, right? Go learn from nature. Learn from your own inner awareness. All right, blessings and happy spring.